Well, hello, my beautiful friends. Your boy Seth here, um, bringing you a look at Alan Wake Remastered for the Nintendo Switch. Um, really, this is one of my favorite games of the Xbox 360 sort of era, and I'm really, really curious, as I'm sure you are, how this game runs on the Nintendo Switch. So that is going to be the kind of big question that we're going to be answering here today. How does this game run on the Switch? We'll see. We will find out together. Um, I don't have high hopes. <laughs> this was weird because they, they shadow dropped the game today, like out of nowhere. No preamble, no announcement or anything like that. Um, today, it's October 20th. It's like the same day Mario Rabbids comes out. Um, there, you know, Persona comes out. Um, Persona comes out tomorrow, I think. So, like, there's all kinds of stuff around it. and almost feels like they just shadow dropped it to bury it. So, that, that doesn't give me high hopes for the Switch port. But, I'm coming in with an open mind because this game deserves an amazing Switch port. And I hope that's what we have here. So, let's jump in. New game. Um, so... We'll just play it on the regular difficulty default. Um, King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little. Oh right, Epic owns them now. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Just like you, Alan Wake. I do love this game. Vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Hmm. I mean, so far, this seems fine. It's just a cutscene, but I never like that kind of artifacting there in the blacks, especially in a game like this where so much of it is like in darkness. Okay. up to the lights. Uh, no, I don't want to reverse my controls. Okay. Hold down L to sprint. Okay. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. I do kind of want to turn on subtitles for you guys. Let me do that real quick. That works. Uh, I should say too, this this I believe comes with the American Nightmare DLC also. So something to notate. There is already there's definite framiness. The HG Rumble's kind of cool because like his his footsteps have a little bit of a HD Rumble to them, which I kind of like. Kind of reminds me of Okami. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely there's definitely some 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 framiness going on. Yeah, it, it is... She's looking a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, that pop-in wasn't great. Ooh, 
play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now. sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. Editor. Yeesh. You missed your deadline. Damn. You can't stop me. Yeah, it is... I can tell you already and immediately, it is framey. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. I think visually it's like okay. I mean, I would have to look at the Xbox 360 version side by side, but like it looks more or less how I remember it. But I don't really understand why. I don't really understand why it would, like, the frame rate would be worse than even the original version of the game. Do you know what I mean? That I never, I never understand. Because I don't remember the original version of the game having any frame rate issues. And that is just, like, immediately apparent. Also, I can't remember if there are manuscript pages in this introductory sequence or not, but... I'm not all that concerned with that, anyway. I mostly just want to get a feel for this and show you guys, like, what the game is like. How it's running on Switch. Those camera transitions. That's, that's I think, a big problem with this, is, um... There are a lot of camera transitions and little, like, weather effects like this in the game, and, like, when the Switch version, when the frame rate is tanked like this... It just doesn't make it look good. Oh no. Stop. No. Damn it, die. No, no. no! It, not a game for kids, by the way. If that wasn't clear. There's, this is a great game, though. There's some, like, really great moments in this game. I'm trying to remember exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, bruh. There we go. Follow the light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Yeah, so this is kind of a big thing. This is like your healing spot, the light in the game. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Do you understand? And then the answer of no is basically the entirety of Alan Wake. It's got, you know, Alan Wake has got, like, this great, you know, Twin Peaks, Stephen King sort of vibe. Isn't there a way to change, like, the... Okay, yeah. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. 
So this will kind of like showcase the main mechanic of the game. Pick up revolver ammo. And let's grab the flashlight. Gotta keep the batteries charged, of course. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, yeah. the darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. And I'm, I'm curious too, like especially with, um, okay, so you can click in the right stick to kind of change like the, the camera angle, which is good. Um, I prefer, I prefer him to be on the sort of, you know, left side here personally. All right. I mean, like, other than the frame, I can actually kind of get over the, like, general visuals if the frame rate was just more solid. You know? Like, it just, it does need to be at least 30 frames. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need it to be 60 frames. And, it, and it's also a little bit more difficult to justify um, something like this when it's available on... I mean, ultimately, the game is available on, you know, everything. The remastered version of the game. So, like, you can play this in a higher fidelity on... Xbox and PlayStation and PC and certainly and even Steam Deck. So like if you have a Steam Deck, I couldn't imagine like I, I couldn't imagine getting this version of the game if I had a Steam Deck. You know what I mean? Cause if if the if the selling point of the Switch version then is oh it's portable, well, so is the Steam Deck, you know? So, like, if I had a Steam Deck, I would get that version of the game. Um, but I think that there are some people who are going to be watching this who, like, only have a Nintendo console. That That is certainly the case for I know a lot of people. Um, so, for people who, like, only have a Nintendo console, I think maybe you're already sort of used to, like, concessions, like, frame rate. But, um... But I mean, I do think that this is subpar, especially when we have games um, like I think about, um, you know, games like Dying Light and Nier Automata just recently eh, came out. Um, it's kind of hard to justify, you know, shoddy ports like this. Um, <laughs> that was funny. Like when Nier Automata is running as well as it is on, on Switch, and that like just came out and we have a video of that as well if you want to check that out i'll have a link to that um it's kind of hard to justify something like this you know and look at that pop in was really bad too whoa Is this anything? No. Don't even worry about that.
I think the cutscenes generally look fine. I wonder how the frame rate's gonna feel in a closed area. Like in some of the smaller areas of the game that don't have as many like effects going on. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. What's what's unfortunate though is I, I feel like people are gonna get really like turned off by um by this port. And yeah, I mean the water doesn't look good, right? Whoa! What? Do you see that? That untextured stuff in the Oh no. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. Oh no, not the green zones. I'll even give you a title for the show. Oh gosh. Well, I was trying to be nice. I really was trying to be nice. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a bad port. Oh. This is a bad port, isn't it? What am I supposed to do? Pose for Alice? I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Where do you want me to go? Let me go up here. Hi. Oh, that is inexcusable! Look at that! Look at that in the distance! Beer fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Oh, that is so bad! Just like unloaded textures. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I was trying to be nice, man. If it was just frame rate issues, I could I could kind of excuse that, but presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main. This is really unfortunate, you guys. This game is great. We could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. This is so upsetting. This is deeply upsetting. Very nice. <sighs> you guys. Just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Like, look at all the pop-ins. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. This this game deserves better. This game really does deserve a better port than this. Ah, oh, this is so unfortunate, man. We need to stop at the local diner to get And it's, the cutscenes are fine. The cutscenes are totally fine. He's waiting for us. All right. Well, I'll I'll get a little bit further. We'll play a little bit more, but I I think we've probably <laughs> we've probably seen what we need to see, right? I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave.
So this is, yeah, I mean, this is like straight out of Twin Peaks, right? Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and to keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Like, it's weird that even... You know, and look, it, it's hard to port things to the Nintendo Switch. Just don't blame me when it's... you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty like, it's an underpowered little baby. I get it. But black coffee under a thin uh, layer of skin. Right. So much for a quiet vacation. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Yes. Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. These two are the best, by the way. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! It does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Let me try to get away from that before I get copyright strike. Over lime in the coconut. I wanted to find Stucky. To get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Even the transition into cutscenes is weird and framey. Mr. Stucky? I don't get it. I don't like I don't know why it's like this. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. <sighs> Should have been a slam dunk, you guys. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sam. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn Anya! It swells up like a balloon to my lip. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. All right, bye, everybody. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, great, because it's the central mechanic of the game. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out. There, there is just like a tone to this game that that this just isn't capturing. That this version of the game just doesn't capture. I wanted to bury my head. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Like, because the port is distractingly bad? 
it's got this just like Pacific Northwest, you know, sleepy town, Twin Peaks, Stephen King vibe. It's got like horror vibes to it. A lot of great references to like things like the Twilight Zone. It is a great, great game. Great story, you know, ugh. It, d it deserved better than this. And I want to support native ports for the Nintendo Switch, you know? Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. And it isn't, yeah, like, it's not even less expensive. I think it's still 30 bucks um, on Switch as opposed to other platforms where I think it's also 30 bucks. So... It's not as if this is just like a rinky-dink $15 port or whatever, you know? It's uh, it's like also expensive. It's all not expensive, but it's also the same price as the other versions of the game. It's not a... Uh, I want to say there might be a manuscript page up here or something like that. That's the only reason I'm trekking up here. Oh yeah, Thermos, here you go. Figure there is something. Um, but this is this is probably a good place to to call it anyway. I think we've kind of seen what we need to see. I mean, look at that. Like, even just that fence back there. Look at watch it pop in. I mean, come on. You know, uh, what a bummer. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a culvera. There was a dormant volcano under it. <sighs> Well, you guys, uh, look, if, if all you have is a Nintendo Switch and you, like, really, really want to play this game, um, and it's a great game, again, one of my favorites, if, if this is your literal only way of ever playing Alan Wake, then I could kind of see it. But if you've got a way to play this on literally any other console, to include the original Xbox 360 release... I would honestly probably just go with that. Uh, this is immensely disappointing to me. Um, I'm hoping that some patches are incoming. I, I'm happy to revisit this port if if Remedy like winds up patching it. I'm happy to come back and do another video or stream or something because uh, this game deserves better than this. It really does. Uh, what a bummer. Anyway, hopefully this has given you a decent look at Alan Wake on Switch. Um, let me know, you know, if, if, if you're going to pick it up anyway, if you're excited, if you love the game, whatever. I would love to talk to you. Uh, I'll be talking about this a little bit on the podcast this week. Links to the podcast are always in the video descriptions. So definitely uh, check out the weekly Nintendo podcast that we do. Uh, you can also find me on Carpool Gaming. Links to that will be in the description as well. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye.